Hey, don't panic. I'm sure we'll find her. Tanyun, we found you! Paimon, traveler, and... Hello, I am Kaedahara Kazuha. Hi, I'm Chong Yun, an exorcist from Liyue. Long story short, this boy lost his friend while they were playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> I told little you not to hide anywhere too far away, but I've looked everywhere, and I still can't find her. Uh-oh, it could be dangerous to get lost out here in the wilderness. Um, we'll all look for her too. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah, I kind of peeked a little bit when I was counting. She went that way. Okay, then let's start looking in that direction. A snapped branch and some trampled grass. It looks like the girl was hiding here. Guess that means we're on the right track. Let's keep going! There's no... <gasps> Not the treasure hoarders again! Oh, let's hope little you didn't run into them. Did Little Yu's father also give her a small box to store the cards? Yeah, a casket of tomes. I have one too. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Yes, as long as she still has the box with her, we should be able to determine her location. Let's see. There's Chang Yun and Little Fang. Aha! There's another player over there. That must be Little Yu. I'm 
scared. So I ran and ran till I ended up here. <laughs> Don't worry. We've already taken care of the bad guys. But Uwang Hill is full of yin energy. You shouldn't be playing in a place like this. Understand? Uh, yes, sir. We won't do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for rescuing me. Of course. Now, don't go running off. Hang tight for a moment, and I'll walk you both home. <sighs> Paimon's glad she was okay. Me too. Good on Kazuha for coming up with the Casket of Tomes idea. Yeah, how did the rest of us not think of that? Huh. Guess we use it so often when we're playing cards that it didn't occur to us to use it for anything else. What a nifty little gadget. The Sumeru scholars who invented it must be super brainy. Oh, uh, by the way, Changyun, we wanted to ask you about something. Oh, I, I knew there was something fishy about his obsession with card backs. I can't believe it! I let a thief slip right through my fingers! Oh. Deep breaths. Stay calm. It's not your fault. You didn't know what his intentions were. If I'd been in your shoes and he invited me to a duel on the same terms, I doubt I'd have sensed anything untoward either. Exactly. He's crafty. If you're not paying attention, he'll just steal the card he wants. And if that doesn't work, he'll come up with some other way to get his hands on it. Did he happen to say anything after he got the card back? Not a lot. He seemed to be in a hurry. He just packed up his things and then left for the docks. Hmm, but I did hear him grumbling about how far away Inazuma is, and how he wasn't looking forward to the boat journey. This guy sure talks to himself a lot. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a pretty solid lead, so Paimon thinks we should follow it. But first, we should stop by the venue. Then I guess I'll take Little Fong and Little Yu home now. Though I'd really rather help track down that thief. Sure. I'm counting on you. Whoa. Is it just Paimon, or did things suddenly get gloomier here after Changyun left? Huh. Come on, let's get out of here. an incredible match. Truly mesmerizing to watch two players compete at such a high level. What? We missed the final again? Ugh, Paimon was hoping we'd at least get to catch a glimpse of the final round. Ah, you're back. Did you find Chongyun? Everything goes smoothly? There were a few hiccups along the way, but in the end, it all turned out fine. Um, so Hu Tao, did you win your match? Of course. It didn't go quite as phew as I'd expected, but all in all, it was still a good old wham bam I'd like to thank my fam. My opponent was no pushover. We both took out a couple of each other's character cards before it came down to the decisive round. I closed my eyes, held my breath, and clenched the dice tightly in my hand as I prayed for the blessings of all my supporters in the audience, both visible and invisible, wink wink. Can you guess what happened next? Channeling all my skill and style, with a flick of the wrist, I released the dice from my hands and shouted my battle cry at the top of my lungs. Watch me roll six pyro dice! And lo and behold, when the dice came to rest, I counted precisely six of the pyro persuasion. It was all over before I could say, 
Pyre Pyre, pants on fire. Wow, sounds like your poem worked like a charm. Director whose play style is rapid but graceful, like a lone butterfly navigating the depths of a forest. With a little luck beneath her wings, she soared above the competition. Ah, oh, luck is a key ingredient in every success. Wouldn't you agree, Traveler? Oh, it's Ningguang and Charlotte! Finished with your business meeting? Yep. I have to say, the Tian Shuin has a very incisive mind. She's extremely insightful. I gotta admit, I'm kinda envious of Baiwen now. Oh, wow. You must be Kaidahara Kazuha. It's a pleasure to meet you, Charlotte. First the Traveler, now Kazuha. Feels like I've been inducted into the Tevat Heroes Club. I remember when you made the headlines of the Steambird. Young Samurai blocks the Muso no Hitotachi. You captured the public imagination in Fontaine for some time. My oh my. I had no idea I was up against such a legendary warrior in our card duel earlier. That's all in the past now. I count myself as the fortunate one today for this chance to make so many new friends. Today is indeed a momentous day to have brought us all together. I propose that I treat everyone to a meal to mark the occasion, if it pleases you all. Oh? <laughs> Sounds like it's victory meal time! Count me in! You'll have to excuse me for a moment while I wrap things up at the tournament venue. I'll join you all later. This is great! We can have a nice hearty meal and get a good sleep tonight before heading off to Inazuma tomorrow. Inazuma? Does this mean you found a new lead on the card snatcher? Sure did! Investigating is what we do best! Well, okay, guess luck played a part in it too. I still have some things to take care of here in Liyue, so I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you to Inazuma. Okay, but remember to keep working on your genius invocation skills! You never know when Paimon Sensei will show up for a surprise inspection! I've also heard some things about this card snatcher you're pursuing. Already? Well, nothing gets past Ningguang, huh? A new card back appeared on the market recently. It's extremely rare and bears an image of a treasure chest. Some players are willing to pay exorbitant amounts of more for things of this nature, as they believe they can improve their luck. So I looked into them briefly to see whether there was any genuine commercial value in them. I quickly learned that every card back with that particular design had been scooped up overnight. There's not a single one left in all of Liyue. Initially, I thought this might be just another case of a merchant hoarding goods in hopes of maximizing their profits. But once I heard more, I realized it must be the thief you are after. Is there anything else unusual about these card backs other than their rarity? Unfortunately, since I didn't manage to procure one for myself, I'm unable to say for sure. All I know is that despite being custom made, they are not particularly exquisite. If they were, you can be sure I would have purchased one sooner. Hmm, the mystery of this card snatcher gets more baffling at every turn! It doesn't matter. Given how much he likes to talk to himself, he's sure to spill all his secrets sooner or later. Every journey into the unknown is a mystery waiting to be solved. But often, it is encounters with the unexpected that make the journey all the more interesting. For instance, it was certainly a pleasant surprise for me today to meet top talents from all around Tevat. <laughs>
Last night was so much fun. Paimon had a great time chatting with everyone. Hopefully, we'll find someone in Inazuma to treat us to a meal, too. Chatting? From what I saw, you were eating the entire time, Paimon. Hey! Not the entire time. about the two inventors of this game every time we see the posters. You're not the only one. There's so little information to go off of that there's all sorts of wild speculations about them. Some people say that they invented the game after the God of Wisdom gave them an epiphany, while others say that they're not actually the inventors at all. By the way, have you two ever read a book called King of Invocations? Well, it's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. It's quite fascinating. I made sure to read it before coming on this trip. Some people have even speculated that the author of the King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed, while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. Each of these theories gets more ridiculous than the last. Exactly! Which is why the original author came forward to deny these rumors. But that only fueled the debate further, and the book's sales skyrocketed. It can't be denied that the King of Invocations novels are a major part of why Genius Invocation TCG has become so popular. Just look at the venue. They're almost treating this like a national festival. I bet the book is going to sell more copies after this. <laughs> you can be sure that the Fox Lady is behind all this. Fox Lady? Yeah, Yaimiko! She's chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her editors to use this event to boost light novel sales. Oh yes, I've been in that situation many times myself. Although in our case, the boss would be drinking coffee and talking about newspaper sales. Sounds like bosses are the same everywhere. scenery in every nation is so different. This trip is really paying dividends. Good thing that you're able to be so optimistic about it. It sounded like you were pretty much forced to come on this trip whether you wanted to or not. Uh, huh? Wait, is that who Paimon thinks it is? <gasps> it's A! Traveler, Paimon, we meet again. Oh? Who is this? Ah! Allow Paimon to introduce you. Huh. 
Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. Anyway, this is Charlotte. She's a journalist from Fontaine. And this is A. She's, uh... She's Inazuma's Archon. What? Y you, you mean... Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? Uh, hello! Please forgive me for not recognizing you. I... <laughs> As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Right, uh, I mean, okay. Oh, each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Miko invited me here to experience the fun and festivities, along with everybody else. Oh, Paimon gets it. The tournament venue is full of excitement and tasty food, and Miko didn't want you to miss out. I guess I'll let you catch up for now. We can meet up later, just like last time. Sure thing. See you, Charlotte. Perhaps she felt a little intimidated by me. Ah, uh, she's probably fine. Don't worry, she didn't leave because of you. We've split up like this in previous places we visited, too. So, how do you like Genius Invocation TCG? Paimon bets you're enjoying watching the tournament matches. Well, in fact, I myself am competing in the tournament. Wait, really? Why is that surprising? Playing cards is an ancient form of entertainment, and I was curious to see what card games are like in this day and age. I advanced all the way to the semifinals. The semifinals? That's amazing! So when's your next match? Unfortunately, the semifinals is where my journey ended. The reason being. The reason being that she lost to me. And when I say lost, that doesn't begin to do it justice. It was quite a humiliating defeat. Pretend I didn't hear that. I only lost because I was duped by her little tricks. What's wrong with my little tricks? Trickery within the scope of the rules is better known as ingenuity. It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshukaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. What a unique friendship. Huh. <laughs> You're right, though. I should make an effort to get out more. Many things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, it seems that some people continue to fear the divine light, just as before. In some of my tournament matches, I could see my opponent's hands shaking, hesitant to play their cards. Now that I think about it, perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. Dear, dear. Other players lose their games and throw a tantrum. You win yours, and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. Oh, I should have known you'd be like this. Anyway, you should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks to defeat that divine priestess from Watatsumi Island. <laughs> Oh, so Kokomi's your opponent in the finals? Mm-hmm. On one side will be your erstwhile comrade-in-arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. So, little one, who will you support? The nerve! Saying that in the presence of me and A? Are you trying to find out whose lightning strikes faster? Miko, come on. No need to put them on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see how they'd react. The venue is right over there. 
Why not go and take a walk around? Oh, and if you meet my fellow finalist, do pass on my regards. Fingers crossed he comes traveling with me. The training requ- 